Another day, another tutorial. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we are going to look at how to see respondents on Google Forms. This can often be a question that only strikes you after your form has been live for a few days. So I'm going to run you through a couple scenarios and how you can avoid this particular issue if it comes up in future. My name's Colin. If we are yet to meet, like and subscribe if you're yet to, and let's get into it. Okay, so let's say your Google form is already live, or even if it's yet to go live, there is one tick box you're looking for, and it's gonna help you to see your respondents. So if you have your form loaded up, here's my one. You're gonna to head to the top and to settings. Now from here, at time of recording, it is the second drop down menu, which is responses. And here's the moment of truth for those of you whose forms are already live. Collect email addresses. You've got three options here. Do not collect if it's the first one. Unfortunately, you will not know who has filled out your form unless you've written it as a question in your form. So if, for example, one of your questions is about their contact details, happy days, you're sorted. If it's not, then this is where you change the setting. So options two and three the second one then is verified, where each user who comes to your form has to sign into Google first, if indeed they have an account, or the third and final option, which is the one I have, it's at the bottom of the dropdown, responder input. This is where, regardless of if it's included in your quiz or not, respondents have to manually enter their email. Of course, they could just make this up because it's unverified, but that is how to see respondents on Google Forms. Unfortunately, if you are only enabling this now, you will be unable to see the details or names of your previous respondents. I'm sorry, but now you know. Now, if you have watched one of these tutorials before, you know this part, which is where I say that Google Forms is a subpar multi-step form builder. And if you're using it because it's Google, you're using it for the wrong reasons. Because just because you're the biggest or the most well-known does not mean that you're the best. And that is where GrowForm comes in, a multi-step form builder designed with you in mind to help you get better, more higher quality respondents from your users. There's a 14-day free trial. It only requires your email address. So put your wallet away, and with that 14-day free trial, you get full functionality, which includes out-of-the-box, ready-to-use templates, full customization of your forms, image uploads, conditional logic, hidden fields, even real-time email verification. The world is really your oyster with GrowForm, and if you want to check it out for yourself and ignore my words entirely, you can do. The link is in the video description. Thank you again for watching. Really appreciate your time. I will see you again soon, I'm sure. Cheerio and